guys, so today I'm going to show you how I make my bow crispy um, corn tortilla shells or taco shells. I was able to, since starting keto, um, replace my flour tortillas with the low carb wraps on special occasions, but I knew that I was going to be missing my crunchy tacos. So um, I didn't invent this. I've seen a zillion people do it, and it's just a cheddar cheese taco shell. And I've had a couple of you request that I show you how I make mine or how I get them in the shape of the taco shells. So that is what you are going to be seeing. I hope everyone enjoys and I hope everyone gives them a try because they are so much easier than they even look and they look easy to make. So we'll get right into it. All right guys, so literally the only ingredient that you're gonna need is cheese. Today I'm using a sharp cheddar cheese, nothing fancy. It was just what they had on sale at Walmart. And this is less than one carb per ounce. And you've got eight ounces here. So I hand shredded a whole block prior to filming. And um, if you're not keto and you're not watching carbs, you could absolutely just buy a pre-packaged shredded cheese and don't have to shred it yourself. But those of you that are doing keto and don't know, they add anti-caking agents to all of those pre-packaged shredded cheeses. Um, no, every brand I have come across and every type of cheese I have come across has had the anti-caking agent. And those are made with potato and corn starches, so it adds unnecessary carbs to your cheese. So once you have your cheese ready, we're gonna head right on over to the stove. Okay, so I have my burner on medium to medium high heat and I'm letting my non-stick ceramic pan heat up. Um, you don't necessarily have to use ceramic, but you need to have a non-stick pan, preferably a small one like this so that you can, it makes it easier. You can do it in a bigger pan, but the smaller pan is much easier. So I'm just gonna let this heat up. Okay, so we're gonna start by adding a thin layer of cheese to the bottom of the pan. You don't want to have any gaps or holes because you want it to be one solid shell. The mistake a lot of people make is they just don't wait long enough. You need to wait until the bottom side has actually crisped up a little bit because as you can see, it's just the liquid. So I'm finding that a lot of people that ask me how I do it, their complaint is that they it just turns to goo. And you kind of, you just have to wait, you know, wait until it's almost too late to turn these because you want the other side to be nice and solid before you try, attempt to turn it. And they're not gonna come out perfect every time. So I don't know if you can see or not, but it's starting to darken on the underneath. And that's a good sign that it's hardening on the other side. So we're gonna attempt to flip. Maybe. Maybe just a little bit longer. Do you see how dark it got on that side? And there's lots of um, oil or grease from the cheese and you can drain that in between. Now that we've let it cook so long on this side, it's not going to need to cook very long on the other side. You're going to need something to drape your shells on to get that shell shape. You could easily just keep them flat and round and do like a tostada, but as they cool they're going to harden. So you're going to need something to give it the taco shell shape. I've just taken a paper towel obviously for the dripping 
I have two cups and then just a spatula or a wooden stick, whatever you have on hand as the um, spot to drape. So I've got my shell and I'm gonna scoop it out and just lay it on top. Whoops. And even though it's hot, you kind of want to help it. And it's going to start to take shape, just like a taco shell. And while I'm preparing the others, I'll leave this here to dry. And by the time my next one is ready, it'll be good to take off. So there is the finished product. We've got two shells here, perfect for stuffing, and they don't break apart as easily as corn tortilla shells. So I can eat my taco without it crumbling into a million pieces. It's It holds together amazing. Hope everyone enjoyed the recipe. I know that I am loving this alternative or this keto-fied version of tacos. Any questions or comments, always welcome down below. And until next time, guys, you have a wonderful week.